What is up guys? Andrew here and welcome to Comic Booker. All things comics from a creator. Okay, so I said yes to this anthology project a couple of months ago and the brief was that it had to be black and white and it had to be a story about change. I found this theme to be really broad, you know, it, it was really uninspiring. Because most, if not all stories in my mind are about change. And so, like a proper, irresponsible comics creator, my lead time completely evaporated because I kept putting it off and putting it off because I didn't have any ideas. Which brings us to today. I have exactly one week to finish the comic and the deadline is... And I still don't have any ideas. So I'm just going to make this an improv exercise. Uh, I'm going to ask Twitter for three prompts and then build the comic around that. If I do my job right this week, nobody's going to notice that I rushed this. We'll see. Okay, now I have to go off and do some stuff. So um, let's get started. Alright, looks like results are in. Um, so let's see. My prompts are Fabulous Witch. Ticking clock and glitter. Okay, all right. <laughs> Next up, I'm gonna figure out the story for this and uh, thank you so much for the prompts. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm on the way home and I'm thinking that the, the ticking clock already gives me a plot, you know, that's gonna give me some plot tension. And um, that witch is gonna be either the protagonist or the antagonist. I'm still not sure yet. I got a mullet around in my head. Where glitter goes into it, I'm not sure. Probably like a magic story. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so it's 11.30 um, p.m. Um, of day one, and uh, I've spent most of my work time today uh, working out the, the most important thing about this, which is the story. So I think I've come up with a good story. I wrote a really rough breakdown of it, like breaking it down into eight pages. And um, I also did these really, you know, um, initial uh, sk quick sketches of the protagonist and the antagonist. Day two, and um, I'm on a walk with Dante. And I'm thinking about, you know, since I only have eight pages for this story, I really need to like have some sort of efficient expository tool. So I'm probably gonna do some captions. Um, that are gonna give me a lot of information at the start at the end of the story, but hopefully I'll just let it disappear in the middle uh, More when I get home later <laughs> I think this is a good time to make a quick disclaimer, which is that I'm not a full-time comic book artist I have a job and I have to do school so I only have a certain amount of time a day, usually about two hours, to make comics and dedicate to this piece. So we'll do our best this week. End of day two, I managed to spend a few hours today working out a final script. And this script, uh, it doesn't look like a regular comic book script because it's just got the dialogue and the captions in it. It's letters, basically, no descriptions, uh, because all the descriptions are in my head. I've also done a template for the eight pages that I'm going to work on, uh, but I wasn't able to do some thumbnails, which I'm really sad about. But I did three character designs today. I did some on the bus, I did some tonight. Um, and those are going to be the main characters in the story. I've got the Witch Stalker, which is her final name, hopefully. Sinta is a really common name in the Philippines, and I thought it'd be cool to have sort of a Buffy-type character um, rocking a, a nun habit. Um, and it's set during the Spanish era of the Philippines, so anyway, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, the other character is the Leper Witch, and she's this scary-ass, diseased monster woman from, um, from an obscure island in the Philippines, and they're gonna fight, um, and she's gonna reveal that she's actually not that bad, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. And the third character is unnamed in the story but for design purposes I'm just gonna call her the Tomorrow Witch and she's a mysterious character who the whole story hinges on. So yeah I'm really happy with my progress today. Managed to figure the story out that's the most important thing. Tomorrow hopefully I can really dig into actually getting on the pages and making it work but <laughs> I have a root canal in the morning so wish me luck. I hope I'm not too knocked out after that. Day three um, just got the, out of my dentist 
and I'm done with the root canal. It wasn't so bad, honestly. So I think I'll be good. I gotta rush off to work, but um, here's Times Square. Oh. Um, I gotta rush off to work, and then after that, I'm gonna get some more time to work on pages for the thing. So fingers crossed it goes well. End of day three. So it is just past midnight, which means I've stayed up longer than I should, but I got a lot of good work done today. Um, I spent most of my session working on my thumbnails, and um, you know, most people won't really understand my thumbnails, but that's fine as long as I can read it. Uh, and the thumbnails are really crucial because it's translating my, my script into a visual form. And the information in these um, sort of scratchy drawings includes uh, my general page layout, uh, my font placement, uh, dialogue placement, and uh, general shot choices that I can play around with as I go into it. When I finished that, I also did uh, my actual final pages, set them up uh, in Procreate with all the measurements uh, right. And in order to save time, I've decided to just use a font. Uh, rather than hand letter the thing. So, you know, what you're gonna do. Anyway, tomorrow is gonna be more exciting and hopefully really awesome because I actually get to do final art. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Day four, coming up. Shh. Ooh, day four. And I'm super happy that I made the decision to uh, work on the iPad yesterday because I just did the math and it looks like I'm gonna have to do like two pages a day. It's really pushing it. So at least this way, I have a mobile workstation. I can work wherever, um, like on the bus and while I'm out and about. And I'm not trapped to that like two hours that I have at home. So whew, we'll see how it goes. It could have gone better. Um, but hey, let's look at the bright side. I managed to finish one page today and um, this is what it looks like. Uh, I think I focused a lot on getting that title looking good because I wanted it to kind of look like those easy horror comics, you know, with a title incorporated into the first panel or first page. Uh, I think it looks good, but I ran out of time on my second page and um, as much as I want to stay up, I know it's going to be bad if I stay up and kill my sleep. So I'm going to pick this up again tomorrow on day five. And hopefully I can just catch up, maybe hit page four by tomorrow. We'll see. Day five? Is it day five already? Oh my god. I managed to do a little bit on page two, but I still have a lot to get done by the end of the day. So wish me luck. Um, I think I can block off a little extra time, so it's more than two hours today. So we'll see how it goes. But um, I'm a little nervous. I'm starting to feel the pressure here end of day five and here is my progress so far so i've managed to do pages two and three and this is what they look like uh, but that means i'm still a page behind on my progress but i'm really liking how the comic's looking so far i think it's getting really exciting and it's a little you know it's, it's getting somewhat close to what i see in my head um, even though it's taking more time than i expected i am going over the two hour thing i said a while ago it's almost 1 a.m. right now, so I've spent overtime on it. I've worked on it on the bus. Uh, it's consuming my life. <laughs> but that's what I love about making comics, so, you know, that's fine. Uh, tomorrow, I gotta go into overdrive and do at least three pages in order to catch up. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay, gotta go to bed. Day six. Okay, I'm very excited because um, I think the pacing is going well, even though I'm a page behind. Um, today, I'm actually going to get a reprieve from class, so I'm going to have an extra three hours, and I'm going to use that to hopefully hit page six by the end of tonight. Um, I'm really pumped. I feel like I got through that horrible middle part in any project where there's like you're full of despair and you feel terrible and you feel like it's not going to happen. Now I feel like I can make it happen, so Whew, pump.
Who's coming and recording? I am. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck about that? I didn't do that on purpose. I know. End of day six, and I did it. I did it. I made um, progress all the way up to page six, which means I only have two pages left to finish on day seven. Um, so I'm really excited about uh, going to bed. <laughs> um, but here are the pages. Check them out. I'm really proud of them. I think it, it, did, it did well, but it's like 1.30 a.m. right now, so I need sleep. So I'm going to conk out and just maybe talk about it later on. But I'm very happy. I did it. I made it. Day seven, um, I have uh, I finished page seven this morning and I have very little left to go. I only have like a page eight to finish. So I'm really excited, even though I'm lacking some sleep, but you know, uh, I'm, I'm definitely gonna make the landing tonight. Uh, and I wanna treat myself to a little comic shop trip. So yeah, come along. And done! I'm really happy with how this story came out. It's weird and it's wacky and it definitely explores the big theme of change. I also managed to get all the Twitter prompts in. I think it looks pretty good for a quick black and white comic. So, tomorrow is the deadline which gives me a little extra time to tweak and refine all the pages. Bolding out some letters and maybe cleaning up some of the tones. But all in all, the comic is finished. Woohoo! If you want to read the final comic, I've left a link in the description below. Looking at my recorded canvas time in Procreate, it looks like my average time on each page was about 3 hours. Keep in mind, a lot of the heavy thinking was done earlier, during the writing and thumbnail stage, which allowed me to go really fast during the final pages. Anyway, that's all for this video guys. If you made it this far, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.